Hey folks, Will Owen here, JetBoatPilot.com. In this video series, we're going to be talking about the Sea-Doo switch, and particularly, what does the owner's manual say? You know, today, I can tell you from personal experience, I bought a bunch of things over my life, boats, trucks, etc. They all come with an owner's manual. I've never read them, but you know what? In this series, I'm going to read the owner's manual. We're going to show you how each of those things is answered in simple video format. You don't even need this anymore. Stick with us. In today's video, we're going to be talking specifically about the flushing procedure. This will be called the Ultimate sea -Doo Switch Flush Video. We're going to talk about three things. First, we're going to show you how to flush your boat properly according to the manual. We're then going to show you how to use the pontoon mist system or the pontoon flush system. And finally, we're going to show you how to properly drain your exhaust system for winter storage. Let's get started. So you may be asking the question, why do I need to flush my sea -Doo switch when it has a closed loop cooling system inside the engine? And the answer is you need to flush whenever you use it in salt water. Uh, the exhaust system is still running salt water through the exhaust system. Or maybe you're going into another body of water, like a freshwater lake that has certain types of organisms you don't want to transfer from lake to lake. Uh, those particular lakes and authorities around those lakes don't like to see those things transfer from lake to lake. So flushing is important. This video we're going to show you how to flush and one of the first things you're going to want to know, instead of threading your garden hose into the back of the boat, you're going to want a quick disconnect device. This is going to make this job so much easier. We'll put a link in the description below so you can buy it from the Jet Boat Pilot store. This makes your life so much easier when it comes time for saltwater flushing or flushing in general. Let me show you where this goes. Right on the back of the boat here, we have several different orifices. The first orifice we're going to point out here, right up underneath this trim tab on the starboard side, this is the proper flush port. Your quick disconnect fitting here is going to have a male end. It's going to thread into that port, thread it all the way down until it's tight. On the other end, you're going to get a quick disconnect. Quick disconnect is going to go on the end of your garden hose, and we'll leave that there for now. Now, according to the manual, the next step that you want to do before you turn the water on, go turn the engine on. We'll turn the engine on first. Once we turn the engine on, you can let this thing run for just a few seconds while you transition to get your water, but you want to connect it quickly. Let the water run probably about uh, 30 to 60 seconds if the engine's hot. No more than about two minutes according to the manual if the engine is, is cool. If you're into jet boats and personal watercraft, we want to ask you to subscribe to our channel. This is all we do is jet boat and PwC related content. We buy these boats for the purposes of making videos and also making parts and accessories to make you a better boater. If you subscribe and also hit the notification bell, you'll get notified every time we drop a new video. Thanks. All right, I'm standing on the fender of the trailer right now. Uh, before we start the engine to flush it, if this boat has not been run in some time, let's say it's been sitting for days, uh, we want to make sure we run the ventilator fan for at least about three or four minutes prior to starting the engine. That's just gonna evacuate any sort of fumes that might be inside the engine compartment and prevent ignition. All right, I've already flushed this boat and run this boat several times. I don't need to run it, but just so you know, do that first. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Now we've got our water running. We're gonna to connect to this quick disconnect. You're gonna note water coming out of the jet pump once we're done. Disconnect. We're gonna wrap the throttles a few times here. Okay, not full throttle. A couple, two, three times. Blow out the extra water. We're gonna shut it down. So that's your engine flush procedure. If you're gonna be using the boat again that day, tomorrow, next week, you don't need to really progress with the next step in the manual, which talks about how to properly drain. Let me show you down here. There's a little port over on the port side here, right behind the trim tab. And this line is a drain line for your exhaust cooling water. So what we just got finished blowing all through the motor, pulling that plug out helps to evacuate any extra water out. Big time important for winterization. Uh, this water is nice and hot right now. If we'll be winterizing this boat, we're worried about water inside the exhaust getting trapped and maybe freezing and expanding. It's very important to get this water out. The next segment of this flush video, we're gonna show you what it says in the manual, how to use this port here. All right, now, following along our next step here, start the engine. Now, come on, we're over the camera. We've taken the cap off. So this is our drain line. It says to run this up to about a minute or so. This is gonna help us flush any dirt, dust, sand, debris that might be in the exhaust and get it fully all the way through. So we're gonna flush this out. Once it's done, shut it down, blast the throttles, and then shut it down. 
We shut the water off, now we're gonna wrap the throttles. Shut it off. So now we fully flushed according to the manual using both of the orifices, water in and water out. And that's really the only use for that, it's just to drain. We don't wanna flush in from that side, we wanna flush in from on the starboard side, but that's to let that water out. All right, now let's move on to the next part, which is our winterization step. Let that water out of there. In your manual, it talks about how if it's gonna reach freezing temperatures, and you're gonna see temps, you know, down below uh, hard freeze levels. If you're worried about water inside the exhaust freezing, and you wanna get every drop of water out, uh, you wanna make a adapter or a hose like this one. Uh, basically, it's gonna have a three-quarter garden hose fitting on one end, band clamp, segment of hose, and then some sort of connection to a quarter-inch air chuck. Uh, Jet Boat Pilot's making them, they'll be in the store, we'll put a link in the description below. And this device you hook to standard connection on your uh, compressor. We're gonna hook up at 55 PSI. We're gonna take the quick connect off, we don't need that for this step. We're gonna connect our adapter, and once this is nice and firm, quick connect into your quarter inch, 55 PSI, blast the water through, making sure that this cap is open. So we're gonna let the water out this side. Once we blast that out, it's important, 55 PSI, 55 foot pounds, the manual shows you specifics, but blast the water out until you see no more water coming out. Once you are done, once the water is not coming out of this hole, then you can disconnect. And then I always reconnect my quick connect because it stays on the boat all the time. And you're done with your winterization step for the exhaust. All right, now let's talk about the pontoon flush. A lot of people, including me, ask this question, what the heck is this thing right here? What do I, what do I have use for this for? I'm glad you asked that question. This boat, when it's in operation, the pontoons, bring the camera around the side here, the pontoons are open. Water floods up inside the pontoons up to a certain point. I believe it's right about here. And that helps to stabilize the boat. Keeps it from rocking as much, gives it a little more weight, better ride. When you pull the boat out of the water, there's gonna be grit, sand, whatever comes along with that water, and you wanna rinse that down. According to the manual, you wanna do this once a year. Uh, you may can do it more often if you'd like to. But the way you flush this out, using the same connection we had before, Use my garden hose tool here. Quick connect, turning the water on. And what we should see is all along the pontoons, water flowing out. And this should go from the entirety of the boat, follow me here. We should, have, should see water coming out all the way around. It's gonna follow across, and it's gonna follow along this pontoon on this side. And you see water pouring out right now. So it's doing its job. Let's go inside the boat. I want you to see where this thing's connected. So back in the back here, this is on a Switch 18 Cruise. We've taken the panels out, taken the seats out, and we've got access now to this hose. You see the hose? This hose has got little holes in it all along. See this water spray here? All the way down along. See how there's multiple little holes? So this is spraying water all inside this compartment, all the way down and around. You run this as long as you like to. I would say run it for a few minutes until you feel like it's completely flushed out. And then once you're done, switch it off. You don't have to take this panel off. This is just to show you what's going on. I didn't want you to kind of ask the question like, what's happening or where it's coming from? We will have to answer those questions ourselves. All right, well now that we've flushed that out for a few minutes, I'm gonna switch it off. All right, water's off, we'll disconnect. There we go there. While we're down here, let's talk about this real quick. There's a drain port here on the starboard side. There's also a drain port here on the port side. That's to let water that's inside the bilge out. You also have a uh, little uh, drain here. This is for water that gets inside uh, the deck and then rolls out, gets outside the boat this way. So it doesn't necessarily have to get down into the bilge. All right, well, that's the ultimate sea -Doo switch flush video. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it's been helpful, please do me a favor, bomb the like button below. That really helps us out a lot, helps others find this video, find our channel. We thank you for watching. Have a great day.